Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a haul and it's kind of an explanation. Um, the title of the video should already have tipped you off, but I bought an Erin Condren. So I went into Staples and I ended up picking up one, which is kind of funny because the Staples that I bought it from is actually like literally blocks. I had to pass <laughs> her place her the actual Erin Condren original um store to uh, get to my staples so I know it's kind of weird to buy it at staples even though I could go right there but anyways so yeah I decided to uh, buy an Erin Condren this is the 2017 so it is just the 12 month I picked this one because it has um, the rose gold coil with the rose gold cover and it just really spoke to me it was the last one like this and it is the vertical and the neutral so you guys have seen lots of videos that go through these and I will have a video later once I've used it for a couple weeks which won't be probably in like February um I'll do a full like side-by-side -side comparison of the Happy Planner versus Erin Condren. I can tell you already I have pros and cons for both and it took a lot for me to want to go into an Erin Condren. So um, first off I want to tell you that I did pay f almost full price for it except for if you look right here, I don't know if it's going to focus right, but right here, the coil is a little bit tarnished and messed up. Really, I personally don't care, but they gave me 10% off. Um, but why I decided to get one is because the first one, I've been wanting one for a while because of my Etsy shop. I want to make sure, like I've been going off of measurements from other people, and I want to make sure that this stuff is fitting properly for the Erin Condren versus the Happy Planner because the sizes are different. Um, with the weekly stuff, it's not that big of a deal because literally this is the same size to both and it's just the length difference. And I know my headers work and stuff like that, but things like this stuff, the new sidebar, my bottom washi, I think it might be slightly too thin for the Erin Condren. So like little things like that I really wanted and I could have probably picked up like a used one or like extra pages or something like that. But I've kind of gotten bored with my happy planner. Like I know that sounds kind of crazy, but yeah, I'm kind of bored. So I thought this would be kind of fun to change it up a little bit and I had the added bonus that it's a tax write off because I'm using it for work. So, there's that. And then also, there are some big changes coming to the um, monthly view sets. And so I'm hoping to get January's out before next Friday. Really, I'm hoping to have it out by the end of the weekend. Um, but I want to start on months like this, where you have this little bit here. Um, instead of just having individual boxes, I want to have a full strip and it'll be easier having this planner to be able to do that and then matching strips at the bottom. I think it'll be cute that way and I'm excited for that. So that was another reason I wanted, um, this because, and I know my dad was like, you should just go in the store with a measuring tape and just take your measurements. And I was like, yeah, but this is just an excuse to buy a pretty planner because you know us planner addicts can't have enough so yeah I will definitely be doing plan with me's in this um, I'm gonna be for sure using it in January and trying it out um, so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one bye